Hi and welcome back to the vlog. I know it's been a long, long time. Uh, I've done it again, November, December. I've been massively busy with work. So unfortunately I haven't been able to upload any videos. Uh, as of 2019, I'm hoping, well, I'm planning uh, to free up some of my time from work. So therefore I should be able to upload some more videos. Fingers crossed. Uh, anyways, New Year, uh, anyways, New Year's Eve is a couple of days away. So uh, I've been planning my drinks menu for that and I want to keep it pretty simple. So. I'm gonna be batching up my cocktails. So I'm gonna be making a Fish House Punch uh, from Philadelphia and a Vocare from New Orleans. Um, with this one, I'm gonna be showing you how to make the Vocare uh, for batching cocktails, but I'll also leave a link in the description below so you can check out that article and there's a whole bunch of uh, punches and pitches and uh, batch bottled cocktails just to make your life really easy. Um, so this version here, you, you've got, the, two options to go with. You can either add dilution beforehand uh, and then keep it in the fridge and then you're just ready to ready to go. You can uh, refrigerate, pour and serve and garnish and then, you, then you're done. Otherwise, you could just pour the spirits and, and batch them into a bottle and that way you still have to stir it over ice and you still got that kind of finesse and the magic about uh, making a, a cocktail. Um, but for this one, I'm going to be super lazy on New Year's Eve. I'm saving the Vocare until later in the evening, so by the time I get to that, um, I want it pretty simple. I don't want to have to think at all. Um, so, you want to start off, uh, grab a, a measuring jug. Um, this one, this cocktail is going to be about, uh, about 800, 900 mils. So you want at least a litre jug uh, to pour everything into, and then a smaller jug for your measuring. So start off with a rye whiskey. Uh, I didn't have too much of a selection at the bottle shop that I went to. Uh, so I've got Bullet Rye. Uh, I was hoping to grab a bottle of uh, Rittenhouse. Um, but also in the, in the recipes that I linked to, you'll be able to find a few recommendations. So 225 mils. Probably better to use a, a more of a cylindrical uh, measuring jug because is probably out just a little bit but uh, I'm okay with that. So 225 mils, add that into your main jug and this is a, it's just equal parts so it's quite an easy cocktail to make. Uh, same thing 20, 225 mils of cognac for those of you if you've uh, paused the video and trying to see what it is this is actually not a cognac it's a brandy uh, but it's local, so that's why I've chosen that one. Followed by 225 mils of sweet vermouth. So the rye is gonna be a real standout in this cocktail. Has those spicy notes to it. Uh, and then here we have, this is probably the the worst jug I could use to measure out this because I'm only measuring uh, 25 mils. So just really carefully. It's probably a little bit more. So Benedictine herbal liqueur, add that straight in. Then we've got our bitters. So this should be about 16 dashes of Angostura. And Pichords. And Pichords will add some floral notes to it. First time I haven't actually made a mess of the bar. <laughs> so for this, if you do want to add the dilution, well sorry, if you don't want to add the dilution, you, you're done and dusted, you put it into a bottle and then you're good to go. Keep it in the fridge if you like and then stir it over ice or even at room temperature. Uh, otherwise, if you want to add dilution and you're going to be lazy like me, uh, just multiply the recipe uh, by 0.25 and that'll give you the right amount of dilution that you need to add. So you want to add a filtered water. Uh, I've got it ready beforehand, so this is 180 mils. Just give it a mix. Make it a little bit easier with a spoon, give it a stir. And then from there, just 
the can straight into your bottles. So I've got uh, little 200 mil bottles. I do have some 700 mil bottles lying around, but I'd like to keep some in the fridge and then I'll pull one of these out and have it at the table with me so I don't have to go back and forth all, all evening. Probably fast forward this. It's a little bit boring to watch. So there should be a little bit left over. Just the right amount for me to try. Now I believe the ideal dilution is about 18 to 22%, like the resulting dilution of the cocktail. Um, so you just have a play depending on, on your personal preference. So there you have four 200 ml bottles of Vocare dilution added. Just need to add that to the fridge, pour it over ice, and it's good to go. Then from there, on the evening, obviously this is going to be a little bit different uh, because it'll be chilled from the fridge, but ice into your glass. Over the top with your Vocare. And garnish with a maraschino cherry. I talk too soon, I've, I've now made a mess everywhere. <laughs> now I love, if you've watched my videos before, you know I absolutely love these Luxardo maraschinos. For those of you in Australia, I'll leave a link to these so you can purchase them. Oh, so good. So there you have a Vocare. Cheers. Beautiful flavor. Getting the spices come through, some hint of floral notes from the, uh, from the Peshawds. Now obviously I've only just put it on ice. It hasn't had time to chill down. Um, but when it comes straight from the fridge, that is gonna be one delicious drink. Now check out the link below and you can see some other recipes. Perfect for New Year's Eve. And I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.